and today I want to give you guys a tutorial on how to load up your own custom sounds into Logic Pro 8 or 9. Um, so let me close this, start up a new project. So if you already have things loaded up, what you're first going to do if you're starting fresh is click software instrument as if you're just like a regular startup go to drums and percussion go to ultra beat drum kits then go down to drag and drop samples kit right then you want to click on ultra beat right here under the IO and then out so right there like that then as you can see something that looks like a plugin popped up so what you want to do is well you want to click where the air to down arrow is right next to where the power button right here that box right here you want to click where it says no sample loaded click load sample right so you load sample and what you just look for where your drum kits and things like that are at uh, just look for something anything I mean if you have something in mind that you want to use um, go ahead and use it you know click play to preview It'll, it'll loop it unless you press stop so you just click open on that one then you, let's say you want another one, another instrument or sound I guess you could say you could also reverse it doing this or actually and you reverse it like that Press this arrow right here, the side arrow switches. This is right here, reversed. You can reverse it, then just do the same thing if you want another sound. Click load sample, then I guess just play it. But there you go. Reverse it. Uh, let me show you guys what I'm talking about. When you reverse it, you just press the that's regular. I'm not sure if it's gonna do it, but like that, it reverses it, so you can make your own reverse symbols, anything like that. Reverse symbols are good for transitions, but um, that's it. So comment, rate, subscribe, Signature Productions. Also check out. Uh, the me TV account, me TV, youtube.com slash me TV one zero zero five. All right, peace.